One of the most amusing stories in all of science fiction is Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where a supercomputer is tasked with uncovering the answer. Allegedly designed to give the answer to the ultimate question about life, the universe, and everything, the computer spends 7.5 million years calculating what the answer would be, and finally spits it out, 42. Only, when the answer is finally revealed, no one can remember what the ultimate question actually was. Fortunately, there are a number of fundamental questions in both math and physics that do have 42 as their answer. Could any of them have passed for the ultimate question about life, the universe, and everything? Although no one can be sure, even in this fictional world, these five possibilities are among the most fascinating. Here are five fascination questions for which 42 truly is the correct answer. Point 1. At how many degrees, offset from the sun, or any light source, is a rainbow produced? There are many ways to create a rainbow, from raindrops to waterfalls to garden hoses to mist to the spray from bodies of water. Yet all of them have a few things in common. They all arise from light reflecting off of water droplets. They all originate in a direction that opposes the direction of a light source. And they all, so long as they're created from droplets of fresh water, have a peak intensity that's in an arc-like shape that's offset 42 degrees from the direction of the light source. Every primary rainbow you've ever seen displays the same angle of arc. If there's a rainbow that the sun is creating, looking exactly opposite to the direction of the sun and look for a circle, or portion of a circle, that's offset from that direction by 42 degrees will enable you to see it. The reason is simple physics, light behaves as a ray, the speed of light in water is different than the speed of light in air, and when light enters or leaves that medium, it always bends in a predictable way determined by the angle of incidence at the interface between the water and the air. When light moves from air into water, different wavelengths bend at slightly different angles, causing the colors to disperse. When light strikes the back of the water droplet, and it's a very good assumption that all droplets are perfectly spherical, it reflects at a known, predictable angle. And when it re-emerges back into the air, each wavelength moves off at a specific angle of offset from the original, from just under 41 degrees to a little under 43 degrees over the visible light spectrum, with the peak intensity occurring at 42 degrees. Any planet with a thin atmosphere, transparent to visible light, where light travels close to the speed of light in a vacuum and where pure water droplets exist in the atmosphere will see that same 42 degrees rainbow phenomenon.